Wednesday marked the first day back on the football field for the Clark Central and Cedar Shoal High School football teams. And for the coaches and players, the day could not have come soon enough. It's great to get grass under your feet. I mean, there's, there's nothing like it. This is the greatest job in the world, to get to the field and start working on the game with, a, with an end result in mind. I mean, and it's, uh, it's exciting. Good. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Oh, we want to get our discipline back and, and do the little things right today. Uh, line up and um, get some formations and run a couple plays and work on some technical stuff. Practices beginning in the early evening cut down on the threat brought on by the heat. Both coaches said the hot weather is a factor, but precautions are being taken to keep the players safe. You know, the heat also is a consideration this time of year. You know it's going to be hot, uh, and this is the way we've always done it. It's worked out well for us. For guys that have not been able to do a lot of summer work and conditioning, it's a chance to get out and move. Well, it's still pretty hot. I mean, we start at 6, we're going to play at 7.30. So, uh, you know, that's a lot it's not too far off, feet. we think, game time conditions. Dang. Well, I mean, we, got, we give them plenty of water. We, we um, wore them down before and after practice, so uh, I'm not concerned with it. Wednesday's practice sessions kicked off the first of three days before full contact and pads are allowed. Both coaches said, however, that it offers unique opportunities for the teams to hone players' skills. We'll do a lot of kicking game work and we'll do a lot we'll do a lot of installation as far as footwork, hand placement, uh, aiming points, uh, you know, alignments offensively and defensively. So that when we do get to full gear next Monday, we can start working those things in a live situation. We, we get a chance to work on a lot of special teams and uh, which we kind of pride ourselves on and uh, do a lot of the passing game. And you can still do a lot of 11 on 11 stuff because you just gotta teach the kids how to practice without pads on. This is Preps Editor Jennifer Iannone reporting for OnlineAthens.com.